Well, this is going to be interesting. And it might be a little bit shocking, too. I am in the middle of recording. I just uh, put down a couple of tracks over here for recording. I'm going to have uh, an acoustic left and an acoustic right. And this is the tracking for a song that we are composing called Lick the Frog. <laughs> now, the tempo is set at 155, and the main riff opening into it is all downstrokes, and it's a pretty fast-paced. I'm okay with alternate picking, but the Ramon style just down picking at this speed is a little bit fast for me. I uh, <coughs> don't know if I'd be able to do this song at tempo in a live performance. I'd probably have to pull it down 10 BPM to be comfortable with it. So stamina is definitely an issue with this. So when I fire this up, there's uh, it's going to go directly into drums. And I also have the tempo set at 8.8 eight so that the metronome is going blazing fast. It just helps me to keep track of the downward picks because it has some up stroke to it a little bit. I mean, it has like an up tempo or an up beat, I guess I should say. Um, well, you'll hear what I mean, but uh, let's go ahead and just hear the metronome to get an idea of how fast this is all by itself. So let's try that. So that's how fast we're going. <laughs> yeah, so that's how fast I'm going to be picking, basically, all down strokes. <laughs> well, not quite that fast. I don't know. We'll find out how fast it is when I start. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I don't really care where I start playing, so I'm actually going to be doing this long and hard for as long as I can, just as long as I can keep an even pace. And then I'm going to take the section that's about uh, four bars long and use that section <coughs> uh, and paste it in the various areas. I don't care about a full playthrough performance at this point. This is all scratch. So let's see what happens. Microphone is tuned down, so you might not hear that ambient. Um, and I have it well, let's here and see what it sounds like. Let me turn up the metronome, and I want to mute the drum bust. Oh, excuse me, and let's just hear what this sounds like. So without a metronome. <laughs> Those are uh, 
those are pretty close. You, you can see right in here, this is the, um, uh, the half tick. I, I should probably increase my grid size. <coughs> well, but they look like they're pretty close on. That looks uh, a little bit premature. That one's right down the middle. That one's right on. That one's a little before. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to turn off the uh, heater this time. You know, the more times I do it, the more warmed up I am. I just have to find my control to turn off the heater. Meanwhile, I got to shake it off. Try and warm up this hand. Get the blood flowing. There we go. My fingers are cold. It's probably from holding the whiskey with a rock in it. <laughs> I have a spherical rock. Pretty nice, huh? Help keep me warm on a cold winter evening. Let's do this. listen to it. Let me turn off the metronome here, the metronome on death. spot on but I don't know there's something about the uh, something about the actual intensity of the playing right there let's uh, go ahead and stop that something about the intensity of the playing yeah that's really close that's like really close isn't it uh, a little premature there and there hmm. well. well since I'm doing this anyways I may as well just keep doing alternates so let's go ahead and mute that one out and let's do this one right here let's see what happens we'll get a little bit of double tracking I'm gonna I'll pan that one left in just a minute so let's go ahead and do this oops forgot my metronome false start oh my
Maybe we should do a live stream of this. This is kind of fascinating, huh? Learn a little bit about See how close we are together. That's <laughs> pretty close. It's, it's so funny how this one right here, both of them, that one, that one, this one, it's like I think the same wrongness every time. <laughs> I'm equally wrong all the time. I think I'd be able to adjust. Okay, let's do a left and a right here. Let's listen to them together and see how that sounds. Ah! Exhale. For schniggles, let's go ahead and do the drums. I just want to hear how this goes. Actually, let's do this. Let's take our drums, and I don't want my drums to interfere with me quite yet. Let's go ahead and turn that off too. Let's go ahead and do this. there at the start. There we go. <laughs> I need to get rid of that. Wow. Wow, you could hear how awful that was at the beginning. Why was that? What made that... Uh, left or right that screwed that up totally, or was it both? Oh, look at that. It's this one right here. This one right here was all screwed up. Okay. That's not good. So let's do this. This, uh, this is the one that I want to start from. So this is how we cheat just to get the stuff done, right? We'll come back later and record this perfectly, but the reason that I did it extended was because I wanted to get a good take. Let's see if this is going to work. transit. Let's get that transit. Right there. So there goes that transit. That's the bottom of it. And let's get this transit right in there. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to need to shift the whole thing to the right just a little bit, yeah? This one and this one. Let's see if we can get that out of there. I'm wondering if that's, yeah, that's going to throw everything off a little bit, isn't it? So you can see this one right here is a little bit off. But I can always pull that one in. That's not too bad. Right? So we got a little bit of room for error. Let's find out. Let's see what happens here. This 
one and this one. Let's take them back to here. Where, where'd that go? So this is the transient right there. So let's get it in. So this one and that one. Actually, let's take this one. Boy, that one landed right on the button, didn't it? But it's only on the button because I shifted the whole thing a little bit, so it's a little bit off. But at least I'm consistent. You know, got to say something. Got to say something about consistency, that's for sure. So let's go in here and let's let's try this again. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to, you know, I have to double this. And the reason that I have to double this is because we're going to have a bass tone or a uh, Base, uh, what do you call it? A counterpoint going on right there. So let's see. I think that's okay. I may need to trim that a little. Let's 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 hear how that sounds. So right here at the middle, I'm gonna color code these just to make them a little bit easier to go back to. It's like right on the button, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna call that a go. I mean, I mean, to my ears, that sounded like it worked, right? All right, so let's do. So we have our acoustic left and our acoustic right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a counterpoint in here. So let's go ahead and duplicate this track. This one is going to be, uh, let's call this, uh, counter left, oops, and let's pan this one to the left, actually for right now we're going to keep it centered and let's duplicate this track. So the second time through, right here, we are going to turn this on. We are going to put a marker. We're going to call this counterpoint. All right. Let's do 
the left, uh, the right side now. That was kind of fun, huh? So another trick in Reaper is you can take this zone right here and we can change by right-clicking the record mode and put this on auto punch for the time selection. Yeah, so let's do that. Go to control bar. Actually, it already was, but I had the entire region <laughs> already selected. So let's do this. <laughs> is that we, uh, we can actually extend this section just by punching in right there, <laughs> which is really nice. But I've got to make sure I've got drums and a metronome to follow. I do, good. All right, so let's hear how this sounds. I may want to record that one again. Let's, let's listen to it, actually. Let's just... Wow, that's that's pretty close. Very too close. So the next section is going to go down to an F. <laughs> Inside here, we're also going to have vocals, so we got to find a good place to put the vocals. Right, let's go ahead and punch in. I'm just going to go ahead and put it up to here because I don't know how far I'm going to take this. Not very far, not more than two bars, that's for sure. Lines are going to fall off. All right. Let's do this thing. <laughs> let's zoom in and see what we're doing. I can shrink these now. This folder and shrink it. There we go. I don't need that one yet. That one I'm already pretty much done with. I need to figure out my sh shortcuts and hotkeys for the. Alright, now where are we looking here? So that's going to end up right there, so that's good. I need to land on that. So that's a good place to actually put it. So let's put this right there, because I don't want to cut it. Well, actually, you know what? I do. I may want to nudge this and that back just a little bit, and that'll make some room on it. Let's go ahead and do that now. Take that S, nudge that back. No one's going to notice. So let's go right to there. Let's go S. Just a hair, and that'll put us right here. Mm, I think I can get away with that. Let's go ahead and do that right about there. 
so much louder than that one. I must have been tired. All right, let's try it like this. Okay, that's much louder. There we go. I got to get into this, so let's go ahead and hit. Oops. What are we going to do? Let's start with the left again. Let's go record on the left. Sitting here, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I could do vocals right now. complicated to put that in there. Let's try the vocals next because I want to see how the vocals overlay with this. Since I already got the vocals on that, where am I going to punch in? Uh, I think I punch in. I don't know. 
that function. I think I was supposed to start way back here. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I start right here. So the counterpoint is where I start. Uh, ooh, no, the counterpoint's way over here. Let's take this, 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 and this. Make sure our magnet is on because we are going to take a little trip. We're going to put you over here for right now. Uh, let's do the vocals. All right, so let's take a look at our vocals and see what we got. I don't remember what I wrote. Wake the frog. Let's open up that document. Is it open? It is. All right. Feeling like the walls are caving in, like the world is closing in on me, like the bills I have are always due again, and my bank account. Uh, my bank account. They're just mocking me. I don't know. We'll see how that works. <laughs> One of the hard parts with these lyrics is fitting them into the rhyme scheme, or the music scheme, I should say. So let me go ahead and move this over here just for now. I think I can remember all of that, but just in case, let's see what happens. do this. I think I start singing. Where do I start singing? So there and there. Looks to me like that's where I start singing. Well, let's start singing right there. So instead of counterpoint, let's change our little flag here. Edit marker. Let's do, uh, Let's go verse one. <coughs> All right. Let's try this. Get that annoying thing out of there. Feeling like the walls are caving in. Like the. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Or did I? Oh, no, I did. I was there, I was there, I was there. Shoot. Sorry about that. Let's try that one more time. I freaked myself out. Let's try that again. that's going to be the prequel or the pre-chorus. So I think this is, let's go ahead and move these back. Take this one, that one, that one, and that one. Magnet is on, and we are going to go right This feeling is where that jump from my skin. So lose 
this feeling is where the counterpoint is going to go. So I can always snap these back. Ah, what's going on here? Traitor! This one, this one, this one, and this one. I wish I could like group them, but I can't really group them. This feeling is where I want this one to jump into. Let's go ahead and throw a marker in here. Try to mark where I lose this feeling. All right, so let's peel. Ah, I don't need that one. Bad, bad. Go away, go away. There we go. That's one thing I don't like about Reaper. The touch points are really, really precise. If you got big thumbs, man, just don't even bother with Reaper. <laughs> All right, that's the easy feeling you. And how close are we? Ah, oh, man, that's so close and yet so far away. I'm going to turn off an El Magneto. Just get right on top of it. There we go. All right, let's see what this sounds like. So sometimes what you have to do is go back to the original idea and refresh one's brain cells. So let's do that right now. Let's all leave. Ah! What happened to you? Verse one is where the uh, counterpoint needs to be. So that means all of my other tracks are right there. That's fine. So, you know, I'm going to groove these. So let's groove them. And I'm going to groove these too. There's also glue. So if I glue them, they like actually turn into a single thing. Let's do that. Let's ungroup. Instrument group, and now I'm going to glue them. There, now they're one single file. Woo woo! All right, let's move you back here, and let's turn on El Magneto because theoretically everything is to the click. Let's get you and you, and let's click you. All right, let's try this. Second gets away. Let's make the second gets away a, a uh, background singer. Echo. So 
of that deck and we can modify so let's go ahead and throw a background track in here it gets away so we can really fuck with the voice how's that so let's get this uh eg gets away and i'm gonna throw this track into that folder right there and let's <coughs> oops let's try it again monitoring oh, gets away gets away gets away gets away yeah let's do that all right so i'm gonna punch in put you right here so this is where i'm gonna punch in right there let's turn off the glue So, so I think I did the gets uh, right on, right? Gets away. Yeah, gets away. Good. Gets away. Gets away. Gets away. Gets away. Gets away. So that's where I want to do my gets away. So let's do that. Gets away. Gets away. Gets away. All right, let's play with that a little bit. I am going to ooh, torque mono. Let's uh, let's let's stick with it. So let's do this. I'm gonna let's loop this little section right here. And this right here, I'm going to shrink back right there. Let's go and uh, turn that back on, shrink that up, bring up. There we go. <laughs> nice. How interesting is that, huh? So the whole point of this song, just so that uh, you have a little bit of context, so this song is about addiction. <laughs> uh, what leads to addiction, what it causes you to do in addiction, and whether or not you're actually able to bounce out of it. So the whole concept of Lick the Frog, of course, there are frogs out there in the Amazon that, you know, they're poisonous. They got it gelatinous substance on their skin that's a little bit creepy uh, can be poisonous and kill you uh, but you know I'm thinking of a frog that when you lick it it's like LSD <laughs> it kind of sets you apart so that's <coughs> uh, so this whole uh, fanatical gets away kind of a thing I like it and might even want to throw like a really fast well I'm not going to worry about effects on this right now, but uh, I just wanted to throw that track down to see how that goes. Let's see how it sounds in context. i 
grab it, pass it over here before it gets away. Gets away. <laughs> that is funny. All right, so what track is that actually? Gets away. Gets away. Let's move the game out of the way. All right, background gets away. So where is my background gets away? Ah, oh, there it is. Background gets away. Ah, I see the thread. All right, gets away. Grab it, pass it over here before it gets away. Gets away. <laughs> you know, sometimes that can be kind of funny. Gets away. Grab it, pass it over here. set the mood a little bit. I want to make sure that some of these <coughs> vocals are in here. <laughs> so I really don't know what the original intent of this song was. I think, and I'm not certain, uh, because I kind of put it out there. Uh, we got some like real heavy metal uh, guitar work that, uh, that needs to be inserted into here. This right here almost is like a Devo kind of <laughs> 80s Devo <coughs> pop <laughs> or a New Age or something. I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, might actually be good. I'll throw a metal element in here. Feeling like the walls are caving in, like the world is closing in on me, like the bills I ever owned. So we got that part down. Uh, now we could theoretically break this up right here with a small solo. Okay, that would break your typical verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus pattern, right? That would that would like just shatter it. There are a whole bunch of different directions that we can take it. I don't know which way I want to take it, but I mean, just listen to it. Do you want to go into more, uh, do you want to break it up with a small solo right after that take it away or get away? It's away. It's away. And then back into some verses. Feeling like the walls are caving in. So we can come up with some new. Or we just go straight back into after the getaway, uh, straight into verses two. So we got that in there. So let's go. Here goes verse one. Let's go to verse one. Uh, I mean, really what we ought to do is get into some sort of chorus at this point, right? Because that's the verse. Uh, this, theoretically, is all pre-chorus. Then 
we go straight into the chorus. Hmm. What would the chorus sound like? to that point and I want I want a second I want to learn more <laughs> it's almost like this is a chorus but this is such a weird chorus because it doesn't build you up it like pulls you down I've got this lose this feeling I have and jump from my skin and we all know that the chorus has got to say lick the frog right otherwise how are people are gonna find the song because everybody sings along to the chorus lick the frog and then they go what was that song I don't know but the chorus goes lick the frog well look up lick the frog and there goes the song whiskey you know what I'm saying well we could postpone the chorus and put the chorus after verse 2 and that would break with tradition wouldn't it but it might be a good thing. Maybe? Um, yeah, I don't know what I gotta do here. So we have this feeling like the walls are caving in, so we know how we're feeling, right? I gotta lose this feeling, I have to jump from my skin. And so what's the remedy? The remedy for that is grab it, pass it over here before it gets away. What's that? It's the frog because they gotta lick it. So the chorus has got to say, lick the frog. So, oh, I'm so split the turmoil. Oh, I have to go into a chorus. How do I get into a chorus from here? <laughs> so this is where I could spend all night long trying to figure out how to get into the chorus. So the gets away has to be on our uh, gets away, gets away, go. That's how you would go into a chorus right there, but I go down. So maybe I need to go up. What do you think? <laughs> right? Because if we're, I mean, the whole point of the chorus is to explode and get up into your face and then talk about licking the frog. This is a weird song. It'll be a hit. <laughs> Feeling like the walls are caving in Like the world is closing in on me Like the bills I ever always do again And my bank account is there just not Maybe me. I've got to lose this feeling Maybe this has to go and up instead of down Grab it, pass it over here Before it gets away Gets away Gets so, get so away, gets so away. Huh, let's try that. I'm going to move this over here. Snap to grid. Gets so away. I'm going to do that. Let's, let's punch in gets so away. Maybe that'll lead us where we need to be. Let's try it. Jump from my skin. Grab it, pass it over here. Gets away. Gets away. Ugh. 
Mm, get so away. Mm, get so away. Mm, get so away. I'm gonna get do so, Get so away. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Stupid, but cool. Get so away. Get so away. Mm, get so away. Mm, get so away. Mm, get so away. Mm, get so away. Yeah. Before it gets away. Gets away. Yeah. Before it gets away. Gets away. <laughs> it's not quite as climactic, is it? But what? Okay, so gets away. So where would we go from there? Ah, da, 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 da. Wow, that's like 80s rock. That would set the stage for some metal guitars, wouldn't it? This is complicated. for the chorus. Let's try the chorus and see, <laughs> see what happens. I don't know, man. I do not know. This is like such a weird song that it, I really like it because it's weird and it's unexpected, but <sighs> it makes it hard to write. So let's do the chorus here. Uh, maybe what we need is a dun, 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 dun. So maybe instead of your dun 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 dun, we break it up with a dun 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 dun. So let's go up to our drums and see what we can do in that arena. Break open. It's a way. It's a way. So right in here, we're gonna need some dun 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 dun. Let's open this up. And go up before you back and let's insert. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can find some grooves. Let's go to Superior Drummer. Let's do some grooves. And ah, dude, the lag on this is terrible. So let's insert. We're going to go a new MIDI item. Uh oh. Where did it go? There it is. There she goes. Yeah, before it gets over. This 
easier for myself. Oh, no wonder. Insert MIDI item. There we go. Six, thirty-five, and thirty-four are all the same. All right, so there's that one, and let's go. Ooh. choke. There it is, 58. 58 really needs to... There we go. like 100% serious why is it so low okay well we get the idea I think jump from the skin grab it pass it over here gets away and gets away I have never seen this bay before please no okay well it's late it's 11:30 and I have to call it but this is an interesting approach interesting direction uh, you get an idea of my thinking process, which is inadequate in all ways, but it yields interesting results. <laughs> so I'm going to continue this tomorrow, but I have a couple of stems to get uh, to pass along. So I'm going to take the existing stems and I'm going to repeat them for the entire length of the song just so that our bass player and drummer have something to play with. And when they do something, that will probably inspire me to do something completely different. Who knows? And our other guitarist who does the heavy metal, we can figure out a way to get that riff in there. Actually, I want to get that riff in here now. I don't have it. Darn it. I'm going to have to ask him for it. I seem to have forgotten it. Chris, I'm sorry. All right. 
I'll see what happens. All right. Um, peace out. I will continue this at a later time, probably tomorrow, and we'll see what I can make of it. Cheerios, boys.